Today's video is understanding timers, so let's get started. Let's go over a few things we're going to cover in today's video. One is how to add a widget on the screen so you have a main screen timer. Two, the different functions for the timer such as off, on, start, throttle, throttle percentage, and throttle start. First, we need to add a widget on the main screen. I'm going to put it on the top left, and then we'll go in and look at the timer menus. Now, let's push the telemetry button on the bottom left, which is right here, and that's going to bring up our widget screen. We're just going to use a standard layout where it has two boxes on the left, one on the right. We click Set Up Widgets, and then we're going to tap the top left box. We're going to scroll down. The timer. We're just going to click on the first one and we're going to use timer one. If you want to change it to a different timer, you can do one, two, or three. That comes in handy, especially if you're going to put such as timer one up here and timer two at the bottom, or you can put them the opposite and have timer two and then timer one. You can see it says zero minutes and zero seconds because we don't have anything configured yet. So back out of that menu and we're now at the main menu where we have our timer on screen. Now let's go into our timer one menu. I'm going to push the model button on the right side. You'll scroll down in the model setup and click on timer one. Here you can put a name for the timer. You also have the mode which I'll click on now and go over the different features. You have off which is no timer. On the timer runs all the time. Start the timer starts once the configure switch is activated. After the time has started, the timer ignores the switch position. So that'll be if you had it on throttle cut, when you turn the switch in a certain position, such as motor on, it's going to go ahead and start the countdown. The regular throttle is the timer starts when the throttle is raised up and then it's and the switch is activated. So that would be a two part, like the throttle cuts off, motor's on, and you raise the throttle up. Throttle percentage when you raise the throttle it does it in real time based upon the throttle meaning if you're wide open throttle five seconds is five seconds if you're half throttle it'll do half the speed and so five seconds is really 10 seconds then you have throttle start the timer starts once the throttle is raised and the configure switch is activated after starting that the timer ignores throttle position and will keep counting unless you deactivate the switch so that means it'll start on the throttle but it won't cut off until you put your throttle cut on. So there's many different ways to set this up. Now let's set up based upon throttle and switch position. We're going to go to mode, turn it to throttle, and then the switch position, you can leave it blank if you don't want to worry about having the switch in a certain position, and it's only controlled by the throttle. So when the throttle is all the way down, the timer doesn't run, but when you raise it up, the timer will start. However, you can tie it in with your throttle cut. There's two ways to set up a throttle cut with momentary or a two-way position. I've got a previous video where I show you how to set that up, so we're not going to get into that, but just have one set up. And then you can go in here and set it up with either the switch position, such as when I push the back left switch down. That's when my motor's on, that's going to be SF up, or you can set up a logical switch, which I've done for the momentary on the back right. For this video, we're just going to set it up standard, and we're just going to go to SF down, and then back up, so that way we get SF up. We're going to put it on 3 minutes and 30 seconds. I'm not telling you to use that as a timer, that's just what we're going to use for the video. Directions. You can have it show remain or show elapsed. Show remain, it's going to start at 3.30 and go down. Show elapsed, it's going to start at 0 and go up. So we're going to leave it on remain because I like the timer countdown. Minute call. That's when it's going to call out each minute that you go down. So say 2 minute, 1 minute. Then you can do a countdown right here. You can have it silent. So that turns it off. Beeps, voice, haptic. Haptic is a vibration. Beeps and haptic or voice and haptic. I just leave it off personally, but you can set it here and then you can change the time there. Last option is persistent. 
You can click on persistent and you get three different menus, off, flight, and manual reset. Off means the timer value is reset when switching the models or the radios turned off and on. So that's good to have. Every time you turn the radio off and turn it back on or switch models, it's going to zero out the timer. Flight, the timer value is not reset when you switch models or turn the radio on, off or on. The timer is only reset when you use the reset flight option. And then manual reset is you can use the reset telemetry or you can individually reset the timer by itself. So a couple of different variations that you can do there. I just leave it on off because I want my timer to reset every time I turn it off and on. Now, if you were trying to keep a flight log, for example, of how much time you've got on that aircraft, then you might want to use the flight function. And that's where you could do dual timers. But in this video, we're setting up just the timer one. So we'll leave all that off. Now we're going to go out to the main menu and test what we have. First, we're going to pull the switch up, which would be like having throttle cut or the motor off. You'll notice that the timer doesn't run. Now we're going to flip the switch for motor on. The timer still won't run because we've got the throttle down. We're going to move the throttle up. You'll notice the timer activates. So that's how you set up your standard throttle timer. You found this video informative or learned something new? Go ahead and push like down below. If you want to see future TX16S tutorial? Subscribe to the channel while you're here. I appreciate y'all watching, and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>